What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Broadway Joel, the voice of Dominican boxing. This is your first time here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Now, Ryan Garcia is a very disrespectful person, and he needs to learn to be careful because a lot of times people get caught up on this internet game. People get caught up on this fame and trolling and engagements and interactions and and you know and and sometimes you lose sight of what's real life and what's not what's permissible and what's not and um he recently tweeted that he slept with cambosis's wife uh george cambosos that is after george Camboso just lost to uh vasil lomachenko now i can't think of a lower thing to do than for a guy who you have no history with uh coming off a defeat for a title that you out of nowhere go to disrespect that man in the most biggest possible way you can by disrespecting his wife, who is also the mother of his kids. Now, again, people get caught up on this internet stuff and, and, and people think that, oh yeah, it's just trolling. It's just entertainment and stuff like that. But if you read what Cam Bosa's tweeted back, man, he was threatening that dude and he was saying no boxing. So now you just created an enemy out of no, out of out of nothing for nothing, for fame, for clicks, for retweets. You get what I'm saying? And and you may want to underestimate Cambosos and what he's capable of or what he meant by that. But uh, one thing I learned in life is you never underestimate anybody. You get what I'm saying? So I think he was very wrong for how he went about that situation. And, and this reminds me almost of how Takashi 69 for the people who watch, uh, listen to hip hop how when he came onto the scene where he was just trolling and going overboard and disrespecting people and 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 all that led to him going to jail and 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 and, and having to do stuff I'm not going to get too much into the details you you guys can google it but point is he just spiraled out of control cuz he was creating so much chaos and I'm worried that this is going to happen to Ryan Garcia man uh Ryan Garcia Again, when he was doing the conspiracy theory thing and lead up to the Devin Haney fight, it seemed kind of crazy. It seemed like people were like, what's going on? Is his mental health is okay? Even I was uh, even I was questioning it. Even the New York State Athletic Commission, if I'm not mistaken, had him uh, submit a, a, a men he had to take a mental health test to make sure he was okay before going to fight. So, um, um, all that was well and dandy, but now you disrespecting people's family members and wives and stuff like that. He tweeted out uh, something along the likes of, uh, I, my goal is to marry, to get with Cambosa's wife and raise his kids with her. Like, come on, man. And again, people are going to tell you this is entertainment. People are going to tell you this is just for clicks and likes and views and how I'm contributing, contributing to this by... Uh, um, by making a video about it. That's what people are going to tell you. But this is almost like a, a, a message to the world. Like, yo, it, it, I understand you're going to have to troll. I understand you're going to have to talk crap about people. But there's a limit to things. There, there, there's, there's a line. And, and talking about people's family members and wives and kids is a step too far. And um, that that's unfortunate that he chose this route. And I hope he understands that he has a large Twitter large uh, uh instagram following and a lot of those people are, are are young kids 12 year olds 15 year olds 18 year olds who look up to him and if he finds if they see like oh, okay it's okay to just joke around and clown and diss on people's wives and then they do it and then they have some different kind of consequences where they can't get away and have that security blanket of ryan garcia who probably has a lot of security you know when somebody like Camboso threatens your life, somebody who threatens some kid's life may 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 be able to do it. You get what I'm saying? So I I I I, I truly and I think I hold these boxes to a higher standard. And and a lot of people have told me, yo, this is boxing. Yo, this is you know if you can't, this is how we talk in boxing. And and that's not how it should be, man. That's not how it should be. Now, I've never heard Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady insult each other to this magnitude. I never heard LeBron and Steph Curry. Uh, uh, you know, disrespect each other like that. And, and you know, and these are sports. These are sports just like boxing is. Boxing, yes, is a little bit more wild. I totally understand that. But 
th- there should be a line. I remember when 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 uh, 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 Conor McGregor disrespected Khabib's wife. If you want to go combat sport for combat sport, what happened after the Khabib fight? What happened? People jumped in the ring, and there was a brawl between Conor McGregor's camp and Khabib's camp. All that led from him disrespecting his religion and his wife. So I think it's a step too far when you're doing that. And uh, I I hope that, you know, Ryan Garcia finds it in his heart to apologize, finds it in his heart to make it make this right or something, or just corrects his behavior moving forward. That's not a way to talk on the Internet. That's not a way to talk, period. And I hope he can uh, 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 figure that out and 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 behave better, man, because th- this this cannot happen in this sport. But all right, guys, that's my video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys found it informative. If I brought any, you know, uh, uh, entertainment to you, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter at underscore Broadway Joel and on, uh, on Instagram at Broadway Joel. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.